Hey kid. How's it going? Um, so today doing some more West of Loathing. Figured, you know what? I had fun last time. If we can do that again. Uh, I just need a quick minute as my phone is giving me issues. That's what I use to read chat. We'll just see. Alright, awesome. I should be good now. I don't remember what I was doing. Worst head of my life. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, so what are we doing? Let's just wander and see what happens. See a streak of fire blast across the sky and land over the horizon. You write to the sun of the impact and find a meteor. Pick up the loose pieces. You scour the area around the impact crater and I gain 590 meat. Wow. Gonna wander again. You spot a store on the horizon. Perhaps you should you could exchange meat for goods and services there. Uh, Button Willow McKittrick Button Willow McKittrick store. Sure, go there now. I love his eyes. Crap. Button will in McKittrick store. This, em this barrel smells like pickles and looks like an empty pickle barrel. At first you're excited because you think this barrel is full of pickles, but they turn out to be novelty rubber pickles. Shovels laden with various goods. The woman behind the counter stares at you with a huge grin on her face. She gestures at the goods she's got for sale. Take a look. Ooh, more advanced bean craft. Rubber pickles weird? Yeah. How's it going, Jay? How are you doing today? <laughs> I rhymed. Provides the option to hammer things in certain places, particularly if you have nails. Okay, let's do that. Handful of nails. And. Oh. oh I have 663, so I can get a. Eat. Or the, oh, I can get the foraging skill. Oh, I probably should have done that. And I have a mine. I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing alright. I made a. Uh, I gotta finish canning it later, but I made, uh, I finished my sauerkraut, so the house kind of smells like fermented cabbage. <laughs> Alright. Let's go sfix. Let's wander. You hear a groaning noise a short distance away and investigate. A cowpoke is sitting against a rock with his leg bent in a way that seems incorrect. Ugh. What happened? A dank horse threw a rod and I fell off. I think I busted one of my dancing arms. Dancing arms? Okay, give him rack right back to dirt water. You help the guy onto the back of your horse and give him a lift back to town. Thank you kindly, stranger. I'd say I owe you one, but it seems doubtful we'll ever meet again. No problem. It's fixed when he's as you approach. Come his mane. <laughs> he makes sort of a glark noise. <laughs> Anyways, Jay, what have you been up to today? Saddle up. Let's do some more wandering. Off the trail's shoulder, you see some ancient petroglyphs carved into a rock. Translate them. They, they seem to translate to, My first is the first of a burning coal. Intriguing. 
I haven't had sauerkraut in a long time. I know I spelled sauerkraut wrong, but I have no idea what's right, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I I love it as well. I just, I, I've gotten into like, when I, for, for Christmas, my grandmother gave me like one of those large stoneware uh, crocs. Like it's, it looks like a giant cylinder made of stone. Uh, that's used for like fermenting things in open air. So I decided to make a batch of uh, a batch of um, uh, sauerkraut. I think my next thing might be pickles. You spent an old mine on the horizon. Ab uh, abandoned mines are safe and fun to explore. Sure, let's go there now. It's an exposed meat vein. That's nasty. Sorry, I just gotta readjust myself here. You look at the mining equipment. You have no idea what any of it does. Ask Susie to explain it to you. Hey Susie, do you know how any of this stuff works? No. Well, okay then. Explain it to Susie. Hey Susie, what? I just wanted to tell you about this mining stuff. I'm okay. First, this machine here is an automatic pyrite. Blaster. Susie stares at you blankly. Move on to the next machine. And this thing you hear is a thing that is used to extract columnar meat and then dredge it. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> the horse has seen some shit. Yep. I think the thing the guy who sold it to me said uh, that it eats weed in order to forget the things it's seen. <laughs> uh, this third machine is an acidic shale liquefier. It converts peat into sedimentary slag. <laughs> You got a perk mind splainer. <laughs> she Susie rolls her eyes. Are you finished? Y yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh -huh. you sure you sure do think you know a lot about mining. You're an expert. You you'll gain XP when you interact with mining stuff. Lurking right now because I don't have social energy. No worries, Ali. If you don't you don't have to lurk if you don't need to. Or if you don't feel like being here. Ignore me seeing tea randomly? No worries, no worries. I thought you were just saying what your, one of your favorite drinks was. <laughs> Snake pit mine. Pile of loose boards. Build a crate. It's a crate, presumably full of mining supplies. I mean, you built it. I mean, you should know that you built it. You got a can of kerosene and a thermos of spiked coffee. Nice. You see a snake coiled up inside the little hole. Pull it out and punch it. I'm gonna try Bean Golem. <laughs> okay, so the, the tea is pretty good, but I prefer hot chocolate. Nice. What do you pr what what kind of uh, hot chocolate do you prefer? Coal snake skin. Cart overflowing with rubble. Dig through it. Uh, you got an item. Unrefined meat nugget. Mind splain bonus. Nice. There's a smoking snake inside the smoking hole. Pull it out. Yeah. 
you really smoked that snake. I mean, you didn't need, you didn't smoke it like you'd smoke a cheroot. You just smoked it figuratively. Just get it with your rusty knife or trusty knife. Oops. Cache of mining supplies. Open it. Then we spike coffee and smelling salts. Nice. Den is full of snake eggs. Pull them out. So funny how it attacks. When I make hot chocolate, it's just cocoa, milk, sugar, and sometimes cinnamon. Ooh, cinnamon. That sounds good. For me, it's always salted caramel. Put in a little bit of caramel powder and a little bit of a little bit of uh, sea salt. Oh, shit's banger. Nice work dispatching those snakes. There's not enough skin uh, on any of them to be worth collecting. Nice. Somebody left their pick here. Pick it up. Cool. I actually got a pickaxe. Mine it. Nice. Camera sounds good, all man. Yeah. And when you, when you when you add that little bit of uh, sea salt, it's a good combination of sweet and salty. Inside the hot cocoa, I mean. Let's wonder for a little bit more. You spotted a cemetery on the horizon. The lettering over the gate says the Dave Yard, which seems oddly specific. Let's go to the Dave Yard. <laughs> Here lies Dave B. Died with his boots on, but not his pants. Dig up the grave. You dig up the grave just to check the <laughs> veracity of the epitaph. Sure enough, boots, but no pants. I got boots. Oh, cool. I can actually equip boots, if I'm not mistaken. Remains look pretty restless. Put them down for good. Nice. I got skull chips. Here lies Dave C. Went down in a theater. Here lies Dave J. Dave J. Pa ra pa pa pow. These remains look pretty restless. It's Dave of the board! Was that a lava lamp? What did I miss? Nothing much, nothing much. Awesome Rose, how's it going? Nice. Skeleton bone. Hooray! I forgot to check the tree. This tree has dozen, dozens of messages carved into the bark for each reading Dave was here. <laughs> here lies Dave L. Died of a heart attack. See you in negative 36 years. Okay. Looks like the grave digger left his lunch buck here. Oh boy, free lunch. Got Vienna blood sausages and a thermos of spiked coffee, and the, and they said there was no such thing. 
Here lies Dave G. He was looking to the sky to save him, but even the sky can't save a feller from like 40 angry bears. Oh. These bones are jumping around to the beat the to, to beat the dickens. Beat the dickens out of them. Yeah, it is a lava lamp. Buzz jerk and, and hydrant, thank you. If a trainer's shoulder bites another trainer's slowpoke and the poison makes the shoulder control it, who gets to keep the new Galarian Slowking? Is Galarian Slowpoke uh, Slowking poison? Oh, I got like this strange pop in my back that I need to get. You check the bones for chickens? Nope, you beat them all out. Got an item, handful of loose teeth. It's a pile of bones that isn't moving around for a change. Dig through it. You mostly find boring broken bones, but you do find a skull with a weird tag on it. Interesting. Here lies Dave G, murdered by a uh, different feller named Dave G. Here lies Dave D, the truth was there was out there. It killed them. Okay. Have you found a skeleton bone yet? Yes, I have. Glare and Soaking is being controlled by the shelter on its head because of the poison from the bite. Oh, I didn't know that. That's a little bit dark. Uh, I wouldn't know uh, which, one, which one was which. This is one of those things they have in mausoleums. You know, one of the big marble things with drawers full of skeletons. Uh, open a whole bunch. Of how motionless the bean is. Take the skeleton bone back to the desert house. Okay. Let's see. Skull chip, skeleton bones, skull chip, skull chips. Three up and three down is a thing they would say if this. If this. If. This is a thing they would say about. If. Say about this. If uh, baseball analogies were a thing now. I really wish they had a. Okay, whatever. go further in. Oh, what the hell is this? It's a big stone sarcophagus. Some kind of ritual circle drawn on the ground in red chalk. It's a pile of mostly burnt rags that maybe could be used be used to be a person. Investigate. You dig through the rags and find a th uh, few things that look like they're worth keeping. Got a, got a score, gore spattered scroll, human ashes, and there's some kind of receipt here. Robe receipt. Mirror made you should know what the occult room is for? No. I don't.
should probably level up some stuff. noises that horse makes. Uh, you can guys detect a secluded cave in the near distance. Exploring would definitely be a good use of your time. Sure. Plaque bolted to the cave wall here. Read it. A record of the events of the Expedition 2 and into Shaggy Dog Cave, November 1887, as recorded by Jim Plackwright. Okay. Uh, living acquired through various and sundry means, a story which is interesting in its own right but safe for, for another time. A map purporting to lead to a large cache of jewels and ingots of precious metals hidden by the f uh, infamous highwayman and train robber Black Hole Jr. in the years before the cows came home. I, Jim Plackwright, along with three compatriots, these being Nathaniel Wyman, Cyrus Howard, and Douglas Watts, set out to find Shaggy Dog Cave and the aforementioned treasure. Our equipment, is our equipment and provisions consisted of one cart a ho uh, a and a horse to pull it. Four additional horses to be ridden, two shovels, a spade, and a mining pick. A large coil of rope, one large basket of eggs, as well as an assortment of other trail provisions and cookware. My own collection of blank plaques and engraving tools, one large and shaggy dog, and a butt fur. What's a butt fur? After traveling for two and a half days to the south and east, we arrived at a small town named Dirtwater, the, large, the largest settlement in the vicinity of Shaggy Dog Cave. Leaving the dog to watch the horses, the four of us entered the local saloon and each ordered a beer, except Sai, who was satisfied with water. The barman provided our drinks as requested and then withdrew a, to a small wooden box from underneath the bar asking if we'd care to witness something real interesting. Considering that we'd had quite a few hours left to travel, we politely declined and asked him if he knew the way to the Shaggy Dog Cave. He replied that he had never been there personally and but gave us rough directions, which correlated nicely with notes on our map. Friendly reminder that the natural predator of the moose is the orca whale. Uh, every, Canada, or every, every Canadian knows that. Upon leaving the saloon, we discovered to our dismay that some unknown villain had tampered with our wagon. Fortunately, the only supplies missing were the butt for the entire basket of eggs, apart from one that Doug had concealed within a pocket for safekeeping. We also discovered that Doug had uh, absconded with one of the horses, forcing Nate, uh, Nate and Sai, after a drawing of lots, to share. I'll explain it to Committing lurch. <laughs> After acquiring a barrel of fresh water for the trip, as well as a replacement butt fur, uh, we headed out into the open desert. The sun shone down mercil mercilessly upon us, though we took small solace in the fact that it would have been far more intolerable how we made this expedition during the summer months rather than November. In order to pass the time on the trip and resist becoming dazed from heat, it's acceptable to desert mirages. We exchange stories of our youth, which I will not be retelling for you here for reasons of, of length. Oh. However, I will relate to you three odd occurrences that happened to us during our trek through the desert. The first of the first was two or three hours out of dirt water when Nate noticed a giant glint of sunlight upon a metallic object partially buried in the sand. This was revealed to be a brass oil lamp of foreign design and manufacture which fortuitously still contained a mass quantity or a continued quantity of oil. Deciding this might become handy, we stashed it in the wagon with our other tools.
Our next encounter was, was with a small nomadic goblin tribesman, who we discovered spoke excellent English. Uh, inquired us to our destination, and we replied that we were looking for Shaggy Dog Cave, though we did not disclose the reason for our journey. The goblin confirmed that we were heading on the correct course, and mentioned that he only had a short time earlier witnessed a large and shaggy dog riding a horse in the same direction. We all agreed that this was an unusual sight indeed, and continued on our way. What if I don't try to lurk? I just happen to on accident. <laughs> One of your viewers right now is called Not a Mr. Beast Contest. What? Huh. Hello, Not a Mr. Beast Contest. I, I don't know what you're doing here. Um, also, hello, Raxus. How's it going? Uh, yeah, unusual sight. Leave. Sometime later, we encountered a large, uh,. Adobe hut, Adobe hut, occupied by two seemingly identical, uh, seemingly, sorry, identical seeming old men with wild hair and long white beards. They invited us to take shelter from the heat, which we gratefully accepted, and introduced themselves as hermits. It struck me as peculiar given that there were two of them, but I felt as if it would be rude to question them on that point. One of the hermits confirmed that we were near Shaggy Dog Cave, and the, the other hermit confirmed that what his brothers said was true. They also commented that they were seen a large shaggy dog riding a horse in that direction. We all agreed that this was an unusual sight indeed. The hermits refreshed our water supply in exchange for our butt fur. We continued on our way, excited to be finally nearing our goal. At least he's nobody's not a Mr. Beast contest. <laughs> I'm good. Hope you are doing very well. Final, I'm doing really well. I made, I made, uh, I put the final, final uh, stages of uh, Sarah and I just got to finish canning after stream. You had a good day, Raxus. After two more hours, we finally arrived at Shaggy Dog Cave. Carefully keeping our excitement in check, lest we become in incautious, we unloaded our equipment and supplies from the wagon, and took a brief respite in the cool shade of the cave entrance. To celebrate our arrival, Doug unpocketed and shared the egg he had saved from our basket that he had stolen in dirt water. Though that had been stolen from dirt water. Once we were arrested, we decided the time has come to explore the cave. Because the web browser I use has a built in ad blocker, I forgot that YouTube has ads. <laughs> I I get that a lot on my, on my mobile, and I fucking hate YouTube ads. There's so many of them. Like, I was fine with one skippable ad, but now there's two of them, and usually. Both of them can't be skipped. Discovering, the light we had, discovering that we had neglected to pack torches, lanterns, or any other light source which to illuminate the cave, we declared that it was indeed, inf uh, indeed fortuitous that Nate had discovered that antique oil lamp during our travels. He gave the brass a quick shine and then light the wick. And we were relieved to discover that it lit, it lit easily and provided an adequate amount of light. Oh, hello, General. How's it going? And thank you for the hydrate. Oh, delicious agua. There's a black bolt at the cave wall here. As we headed into the cave, we were further encouraged by the fact that the floor was quite even and easy to traverse. And there were no side passages, which might have caused us to become lost. Despite this, I resolved to hang a number of plaques to mark our progress through the cave, and engrave them with a the tale of our journey, such that others who discover the cave might after us might be en entertained and edified by our story. I'm, I'm good doing good. As I've, as I've said, I, I made, made uh, put the finishing touches on my sauerkraut today, so I just gotta finish canning after stream. Soon we came to the end of the tunnel. While Nate, Cy, and Doug took turns with the excavation, I completed the last of the aforementioned plaques. It was a matter of perhaps an hour before Cy's shovel struck a wooden surface with a hollow noise, and we hauled a traditionally styled treasure chest out of the hole with great excitement. The 
chest was locked with an ancient and rusting iron padlock, which broke easily from a single swing of our pickaxe. We opened the lid slowly, and the flickering light of the antique oil lamp shone brilliantly upon jewels of every color and shining ingots of precious metals, just as promised by the legends of Black Hole Jr. Joy. Uh, joyous at our triumph, we loaded the chest into our wagon to become the journey home. Thank you for reading, and may your own endeavors be equally successful. Are you fucking kidding me? Did I just get debated by plaques? How long do you think this will take to complete? West of Loathing or... This cave? Because it just completed this. The game? I have no idea. Aristocrats, what? Half forget it. Okay. Let's go, Sphix. Uh... You say this doghouse contains a varying dog. Weigh your options. Uh, give the dog a bone. With a, nick with a knick-knack paddywhack, you achieve your aim. The dog begins contentedly gnawing on the human femur. Good for him. The hinges on this gate are really rusty. If you open, if you open it, the bandits inside are definitely going to hear it. Let me rethink this. You need a lock and something else to lock them in? Okie dokie. But here I was thinking we needed like some sort of hinge oil. I guess I can just use a map, fuck. Um, let's go wandering. Found a crate of supplies bound for a nearby army fort. Looks like it fell off the wagon, or the driver fell off the wagon and was too drunk, too drunk to strap it down. Fish the crate and help, you find, help yourself to its military content. It's not like those army cowards have any use for it. Back east in their coward hidey holes. Full canteen, incendiary bullet, and hard tack. Nice. I actually wanted to use... Alright. Butterbean, Uncanny Presence. And Wary. I'm gonna I'm gonna learn Wary. It's oil of some kind? Okay. You read the scrollings and internalize all of their insane paranoid implications. You got a skill, Wary. Afterwards you narrow your eyes and burn the book. I didn't trust that book. Uh, let's go wandering again. A few hundred yards up the trail, you see a solitary skeleton trudging towards the northwest. Doesn't seem to have noticed you or anything else, really. So let's attack it. Hey, skeleton, sucks to be you. Or gold tooth. At the side of the trail, you see a small hell cow. A hell calf, really. It snorts at the patch of brush lighting it on fire, and then starts grazing. <laughs> uh, Arg, kill it. Jeez, calm down, Susie. It's only a little one. Kill it before it gets bigger. Attack it, cower, lure it to a trap. Quickly dig a small pit and cover it with tumbleweed. 
which you light on fire. The Hellcalf canters over excitedly, whereupon you kick it into the hole and throw rocks at it until it's banished from this plane. Oh, that was mighty satisfying. Nice. You discover what was either an open grave or a very deep rectangular pothole. Jump in and see what you find. Well, if it's a pothole, it must have been there for a very long time because you found the remains of an antique traffic accident. Skull chips, handful of old coins, old wedding ring. You're riding along and see some braided fuses sticking out of a nearby rock. Facing more closely, you notice that somebody drilled a hole into the rock and inserted a bunch of dynamite, but apparently lost interest and wandered away without setting it off. Or maybe they just had a mattress. Matches. Take dynamite. I actually want to go to Button Willow's store to see. Find a pair of a pair of saddlebags slung over a tree branch. Stenciled letters on the side read "Property of Fort All All Dead Library." Ooh, more beancraft. There is the forging skill. Oh, hello, turtle guy, and hello, Uni. The final might be on fire, but I am in water. What do you mean, Uni? So I'm just trying to think of what I sell. It's a mix. It's a mix of sweet and snow. Also, the turtle might be a guy, but I'm dead. What? Oh, sweat and snow. Okay. Put it on your ad hat to add three moxie. Yeah. How much do I need? 1275. Fuck. 
An additional 80. Also, I love snow and cold weather and all things related other than the death of icy the deaths of icy road because I just don't support death. I'm glad you don't support death. Well, death of certain people is okay. Racist and like. I need to go to the... Any mail? Uh, package. Ooh. Package from your younger brother Rufus. He's weird, but he's a sweet kid at heart. Open it. Another bro dear bro, I found this and I thought it might help you not die. Jeez, you missed re you really missed that kid, and you miss your parents. You get all nostalgic about it. Just thinking about it. Nostalgia mode unlocked an options menu. Sniff. I don't like this. Why why did it change? Alright, anyways. Uh, uncanny Presence. Blood Beans. A skill that lets you regenerate health during combat. I'm, I'm doing Blood Beans. Uh, uh, you master the art of microscopic bean conjuration and fill your bloodstream with restorative proteins. Unfortunately, you get so distracted when you found vigor that you misplaced the book. Oh. And back kinda, how goes it? It's go it goes well. I support death. He works long hours. <laughs> I love Grim, but his job is a bit grim for me. Ha! <laughs> nice. Why does my phone send before I finish typing? No idea. Anyways, how are you doing alright, Allie? My guy's just jigging. The whole spell, Great Northern Blizzard, a spell which deals cold damage to all of your enemies. A uh, wall-shaped pile of beans that look pretty interesting. Gives Bean Wall a spell that will create the wall of beans and provide cover from ranged attacks. Ooh, Great Northern Blizzard. Study the bean res dessert recipes and practice conjuring up various configurations of frozen beans. Fortunately, at some point, the book got completely covered in snow drift and is now all soggy and ruined. Aww. Want to say hi? Yeah, just very, very depressed and lonely all day. Oh. Is, there, is everything going all right? You find a crate laying at the back of the trail. It's lid knocked loose. It has fell off the back of a car LTD. Stenciled on the side, which seems a bit on the nose, but hey, free stuff is free stuff. Uh, full canteen length of rope and ranch punch. Nice. Reach the crate and help yourself to the meager but free contents. Yeah, I just kind of woke up like this. Yeah, I, I, I don't blame you. I, I get I get some of the feelings. Final is being bean mage in this game. I can summon a bean golem. Yeah. This is I mean this fully when I say it. There's a lot of funny content in this game. Yeah, I I am greatly enjoying it. If it's slept properly in four days, or just not having a good time, is there a reason you're not sleeping properly? Like things keeping you up on the like? Oil the hinges. Use the last. You use the last of the oil in the can on the rusty hinges. The gate swings open easily and silently. Nice. 
creep up to the door. You can hear the gang inside. You notice that the door jam is busted probably from being kicked in. There's a crude hasp of bent nails on the door. Looks like the bands have just been locking it with a padlock from the outside when they leave. I'll come in. Quietly lock the door from the outside. You definitely got the upper hand at this point. What's your next move? Arrest them. Okay, fella, the jig's up. A muffled voice says, The law, get em, boys. And then Tarnation, we're locked in. You hear a chorus of defeated sighs. Toss out your weapons. <laughs> oh, hydrate, thank you. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying being a bean mage. <laughs> Of all things, I didn't think this would be one of the, like one of the. I never thought of like a bean magic. I don't just haven't. All right. It's a lot funnier to defeat crime through mercy than violence. Yes, it is. I greatly enjoy that. Uh, toss out your weapons and I won't arrest you. You hear a quiet but this, but heated discussion inside. Eventually a voice says, alright, and some pistols fall out the window. You got an item. Bandit pistol, bandit pistol, desert gang six gun. Just kidding, I'm still gonna arrest you. Uh, the voice says, aw oh, dang it. You round up the gang and haul them back to dirt water. That's the house in the desert gang, all right? Except for the house, that is. Did it get away? What? I was... <laughs> What, I was supposed to... Hell no, nah, I'm just messing with you. Here's your reward. Justice to serve. The house in the desert gang cell. Leave. You know, yet another wanted poster. Lots of criminals around these parts. Poster says wanted for the black hat bandits. Uh, for horse theft and the selling of counterfeit glue. Last scene headed toward nor the old uh, millinery. No good can come of criminals with access to hat-making machinery. Would you like to go investigate? Yes, indeed. Mark the location of the millinery in your map and spend some time saying millinery over and over again. You discovered a, you, you discovered a new map location. The old millinery. Millinery, millinery, millinery. Killing and drowning defenseless people is funny. General, you're a little bit messed. <laughs> I think you were meant to arrest the house too. Nah, uh, she just said it was a joke. Also, did I miss? Is that a set? Another hydrate? Yes, it is. Okay. But General, we love you all the same. Just as long as you don't go murdering innocent, that's all that matters. It's a good word. Alright, the old millinery. Oh, there's things up here. Oh, there's a lot of things. Oh. Let's go around. Well, here's an unusual sight, an old boat in the middle of the desert. If this were a beach, you could call it beached, but you can't call it deserted because there's someone in it. And someone is a skeleton wearing a helmet with horns on it. She looks pretty bored and is idly polishing the dragon-headed prow of her ship. You think she, she's been here for a very, very long time. Uh, fighter, surrender, alive. <laughs> Splainer helmet at her. <laughs> Twitch is really pushing me for to, to subscribe. Fort all dead, yeah. I'm mentally insane, but on Twitch and Discord, I limit my brain power to 2%. Insert brain power here. Uh, there's a lot, yes, but you haven't even reached the halfway point. Yeah, I know. I'm spending as much time as I can on it. A life explain. Your helmet is historically inaccurate, you know. Th those helmets never actually had horns on them. It's a misconception that began when an archaeologist found a viking buried with two drinking horns on either side of him and misunder. The skeleton throws her helmet at you, and you uh, to make you shut up and go away. I got, a, I got an old rusty viking helmet. Nice. 
What's a brain? Something I don't have. I don't know why you people watch me. How much XP do I have? It's blood beans. Oh, it's, it's my regeneration. Okay. I have 54. Okay. Also, I got the hat. What does the hat do? Muscle and armor? Nah. This is a fancy six gun. You might even go so far as to rate it a seven gun. <laughs> Final prepare for skeleton war. There's a row of lockers here. Must have been storing the personal effects of the fellers who used to work here in this mine. The first one is labeled Ellsbury WM. Doesn't have a lock on it. The label on the second one is covered in some kind of white goo. <laughs> Giggity. Uh, hydrant buster truck, thank you. <sighs> the third one is labeled Loose Ben and has a combination lock on it. Don't trust people that like to yeet, so that includes me and half the community. <laughs> Open the first locker. Locker contains one of those mining helmets with a lamp on it and a bottle of laudanum. Open the second locker. Uh, you open the door and reveal a skeleton covered in the same white goo that was on the outside of the locker. Ah, you get it. This guy must have died after his co-workers played a prank on him where they stuffed him into the locker and then filled it with shaving cream. Sure, shaving cream. I can't believe you dang jerk stuffed me into my locker and then filled it with shaving cream. I died from that Yelsa skeleton. Confirming both your insight and his vengeful murderous intent. Slam lock door. Oh, I have to fight it. Oh crap, 82 health. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Okay. It's a good thing I'm powerful. What? Oh, one HP, come on. Well, at least he's not suffering anymore, and his bones are really clean. God starts. And open the third locker. There's a combination lock on here, and you don't know the combo. Well, darn. Loot it. Mind splitting bonus. <laughs> That's so sad that I have a mind splaining bonus. I mean, at least it helps me get XP and crap. Uh, whoa, this opens into a 30 foot shaft. Tie rope to the crossbeam. Sure is dark down here. These stones have little triangles painted on them, and they're in a triangle. It's very triangle. It's, it's Triforce, anyways. Oh, now it's starting to get hazy. Spiraling, the spiraling shape is making you feel strange. It's an exposed meat vein throbbing and pulsing warm. Ugh. This cart looks like it's only partially real. Do it anyways. Okay. 
Black fluid oozes from the vein. A scabrous mass sits on the floor below. What the f take the fluid. You want to stop looking at the spiral right now. This cart is vibrating. Loot it. And it's upside down now. A slit runs the length of the meat vein. Reach inside. It goes further than you expected. It's warm. Keep going. You're in up to your shoulder when you feel it. A beating heart. Rip it out. Did I just kill something? This cart is... Oh, fuck. I thought, I thought this mass below the... Below the cart was something. Show you the power of flex tape. I saw this boat in half. This game also was what the fuck wants to. Yeah. Let's do it. Oof, looks like this guy should have picked better friends. Tech bit. Fix. I wanted to go button willow. Find a crate laying by the side of the trail. It's lid locked. Lo it's lid knocked loose. It has a fell off the back of a cart. Limited stencil on the side. Seems a bit on the nose, but hey, free stuff is free stuff. Uh, ranch punch. Length of rope. Bar of soap. Where are you? <laughs> Now I finally have the foraging skill. You read the book and learn all sorts of tricks for squeezing extra stuff out of cactuses and whatnot. At lockpick and level four, you can pick any locks. Okie doke. Unfortunately, while practicing your techniques, you actually take you actually squeeze the book into book juice, which it turns out is a real thing. Oh. I love how it always comes up with excuses. That's fucking weird, don't laugh like that. <laughs> you notice the campsite off in the distance that appears to be very constantly hand, hand very constantly hand, co Fuck, I can't read. Very comprehensively trampled the ruin. You discovered a new map location, destroyed campsite. Keep going where you're going. Drop the book on the floor and step on it 30 times to try to pick it up, yeah. You're gonna have to deal with this cow if you want to explore the area. Okay. Man, I do a lot of damage. Man, I take a lot of damage. You banish that demonic cow from this realm. Get thee hence, little doggy. Uh, roasted cow tongue, extra thick leather. Susie carves another notch in the stock of her rifle. Hooray! It's a tuna cactus. Take the rope. Take the haystack and a needle. Something buried in the smoldering embers. Ow, 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 red hot poker.
Ro you roasted cow tongue burgers? Yeah! I got tongue! <laughs> it's not Christmas until you see Snoopy eating 37 human femurs. I'm concerned. You know some words carved at the side of the outhouse. Curly was here. Wait a second. You recognize that name. Curly. Curly Butterfield. The legend of Curly's meat. Looks like maybe this outhouse is worth investigating. Luckily you don't have to actually go inside the outhouse because once you open the door you find a map scratched into the inside of it. At least a coal ridge mine just west of where you are now. There's an inset map inset map of the mine itself with a big X scrolled between three triangular three strange triangular icons. Curious. Oh, okay, I know what that is now. You have nothing to churn. Barn doors locked. Do I have lock picking? I don't have lock picking. To your horror that you see that every single cow in Butterfield Dairy is now an is now an ungulith, an infernal cow spirit bound in stone. They're not dangerous unless you get near them. Oh, what, I love how it turned into an oil lamp that time. Because like, I think it changes like lights depending on like your your uh, level of that. I think that's really cool. Uh, like tidbit. You thin the herd a little. Not enough. It can never be enough. Got menudo geode. Cow hate flashes in her eye. Her resolve intensifies. Susie becomes stronger. Nice. There is still an effectively infinite number of ungulates here. Walk among them. Uh. Brass bull ring. Oh, was this one of those grinding sections? This is a grinding area? Okay. Right, let's go back to Coal Ridge. In the distance off the trail, you see a water tower that appears to have sprung a small leak. Right on. Because it can't actually do shit. Uh, this is the spot the Curly's toilet and mention uh, no, it's mentioned. Curly's compass. What does a compass do? This is Curly Butterfield's compass, but that dude must have always been lost because this thing points every which direction but north. Compass is pointing generally northwestish. Northwestish. I think it's northwestish from the location then. So it's around here somewhere, I think. Well, anywhere up here, I guess. I gotta remember about that. Snake Spring. Found a fire for a dynamite store up north. It's charred around the edges like it got blown here by an explosion. Uh, you mark the address down on your map Dynamite Dan's Discount Dynamite Dare House. Keep where you're going. Oh, it's right there. Tuna cactus. It's a coffee cactus. You drain the, uh, is some delicious coffee from the uh, cactus's flower stalks. Oh, it l literally is a snake spring. Endless stream of snakes pours out of the hole in the canyon wall. Grab a handful. Now, how much is this? 4 AP, okay. Nice.
Okay, so if I get defeated. You really have nobody but yourself to blame for that. Angry. The books you could have chosen the beginning with are Bordering, Forge, and Lockpick, and you can get the other two later in the game. Yeah, I already have the Forging one. Let's go to Dynamite Dance. Find a safe on the side of the trail, ironic you think to yourself that it's such an unsafe location. You hop down from Spex to find that the safe is locked in addition to being closed. You can tell, from a, well, tell it was from horseback. Damn it, I don't have safe Kraken. Dynamite Dan's discount, dare, discount Dynamite Dare House. Crap, a year's supply of dynamites. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to the Potemkin gang. You rein, you rein in your horse upon hearing the rattle of bones and clanking of chains nearby. With a hiss, a skeletal figure scuttled towards you. It's a little confusing to look at. Instead of a skull, it has another small tin skull. It has another smaller skeleton growing out of the top of its spine. It also has a manacle locked around one of its ankles, the trailing length of broken chain. It looks like it escaped from somewhere. Fight it. That's really fucked to look at. You won twice, kind of. <laughs> really deformed bone. A bar, real jail, non-fake horse sales. Genuine TNT and sandwiches, town hall for an actual town. Vanda looks distraught. What's the matter, buddy? I lost my belt buckle. Uh, did you look near the bar? Good idea, I'll look there. Guy shout, the place is condemned, it's not safe to go in there. Okay. Did you look near the jail? Good idea, look there. Nope, what is she going on about? Talk to your partner. Howdy, Susie. Susie looks over her notes. I think there's another ranch in this area, don't know nothing about it, but it's pretty new. Okay, we'll take a look. Lazy, lazy A dude ranch. Forget about anything. Extra reminder. Bars closed for you know, repair and stops. Uh, near the hustlers. Uh, near the sandwich shop. Near the town hall. You duck into the outhouse to plan your next move. While you're pondering, you notice something weird. This outhouse, outhouse has a back door. Leave through the back door. Okay, hold on. This doesn't seem safe at all. This is the back of the jail. Turns out it's just flat plywood like a theatrical set. The ropes that are holding this up don't look very strong. You could knock it over pretty easily. But you should probably hold it off until they're just the right moment.
Oh, I know exactly what I have to do. Okay. Uh, jail, I think it was. Jail. Fuck. All right. Yeah, that's what I that's what I'm doing. Turns out it's just a flat plywood set like a theatrical. Cut the rope. This is the back of the jail. Turns out it's just a crash. The fake building falls over on the real bandits. The gang is knocked out, you can arrest him now if you want to. Take him to jail. You haul the story so and so's back to dirt water and lock them in the jail. Say that's the, the Potemkin gang. How'd you get them? Pushed a pushed a jail over on them. What? <laughs> Never mind. All the days work. Leave. If you had ruthless, you could have detonated the TNT behind the sandwich shop and killed them. Ah, I see, okay. A fifth wanted poster. Read it. The poster says, Wanted, the Gherkin brothers, for kidnapping, brining kidnapping victims, and attempted sale of human flesh for consumption. Ugh. Last seen headed for the old abandoned pickle factory. Can't let these dastardly criminal criminals escape justice, and it wouldn't be kosher. Let's go investigate. Work a little pickle factory on your map. Hopefully chasing them down won't get you into real, you know. Let's go to the pickle factory. It's either the pickle factory or the bread factory that has a really hard boss. Oh boy. You hear a strange humming noise and take a brief detour to discover that it's coming from the mouth of a nearby cave. Investigate it. Oh. Weird purple grass. These rocks are weirdly organized. A snake that isn't going to let you pass without a struggle. A struggle it is. Buff up and hit him with a blast. What's the fourth wanted poster? Uh, I'll double check in a second. After I get back. You put an end to the shocking tail of the shocking snake. Got an item, snake liver. Liberate the corpse from its skin. An electric snake skin, sure. Also, it said I could add snake skin to my hat. Put on your hat to add s plus seven spell damage. Oh, okay. Uh, fuck, let's... Plus three Moxie. You know, I do like the spell damage. You wrap the snake skin around your hat, and when you touch the ends together, it's a spark that fuses the loop closed. Okay. Wow, what is that thing? Oh. Bizarre ruin. That looks dangerous. 
The monolith is dark. Looks like there was a huge cave in at some point. A weird device? Take it. Strange stone arrow. Strangular object made of a strange stone like material shot through the channels of s smooth black glass. What in the fuck did I just discovered? This leads for an interesting side quest from what I've heard. Okay, okay. Uh, am I be able to push this over? I can't. Is I able to go in that other cave? Nope. The strange arrow is you just found starts going crazy. Beeping and booping. It's whirling around of its own accord. It practically drags you in the direction of a strange, decrepit looking house. Well, let's, let's do the pickle factory first. <laughs> Haunted pickle factory, okay. Gretchen Vlas. She was very, very terrible. There's a patch of pepperoni mold growing out of this grave. Spooky as this factory is, the woods beyond this are even spooky. You should probably take your chances here. Never actually seeing someone complete it? Well, I'm going to complete it then. If you sudden electrical joke when your hand touches the doorknob. Ouch. Oh no, you're late for your shift. Miss, Mrs. Vlas is going to be so mad. She might literally bite your head off. Okay, well not literally. Literally, literally. Probably. Quick, get suited up. Late again? You better find. You better stop taking this job for granted. You think you're gonna find a place with a nice dormitory and a reasonably priced company store like ours somewhere else? With your skills? Ha! You're doing three shifts today, Buster. Get to work. You're on pickle hopper duty. Start your shift. This is the ghostly jail cell. Kind of figured. Pickle hopper duty runs you ragged like always. Keeping the hoppers filled with a, to keep a constant flow down the chutes means you're constantly at a near sprint because you have to manage the uh, cu the cuke shunts to keep the levels equal. Even if you get even if you get uneven pickle levels, Mrs. Last knows. Nobody knows how she knows, but she knows. A whack from a cane is the minimum you'll get. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! At the end of the first six-hour shift, you get a brief break. You cram a stale cheese sandwich into your mouth while Miss, Miss Vlas glares at her pocket watch, counting down three minutes to the second. Breaks over a second shift, you get you get over to the salt tank now. Oh, God. Managing the salt tank isn't as strenuous as pickle hoppers, but it's still a never-ending tension. The brand concentration has to be constantly monitored and kept in very specific measurements which means constant adjustments. Meanwhile, you can feel yourself desiccating from the haze of salt dust that fills the room. If any of this place kills you, it's probably going to be the salt tank duty. White lung is a nasty business. Cough on your own time and get that uh, salinity back to normal. It's supposed to be 900 and si 967 parts per thousand. How was that hard to remember? 900 and s oh, 976. Idiot. Please let me out of here. You get another 180 cent break before the sh third shift. You spend most of it drinking water. The company doesn't charge for water, but you've heard a rumor they're considering it. Breaks over, get to the boiler. Oh no, please let me out, please. Boiler duty means shoveling coal into a furnace. A furnace that runs a giant tank of boiling vinegar. It stings in here. You've tried to work up you tried to work with your eyes closed, but Miss Flash screams if you drop any coal on the floor. Or if you let the temperature get too low, or too high, or just for no particular reason. At least you're used to the smell of boiling vinegar. In fact, you can't smell anything more. Let me out, please let me out. Final is on fire? Yes, I am. 108, 190 degrees, idiots. Not 189. Not 191. What do you think we pay you for? You don't really miss your sense of smell or co or not coughing all the time. You don't really want anything more except to die. Let me out, please. Or let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. 
Well, yes, you finally snap out of the horrible hallucination or possession or whatever the hell that was. Jeez, you can still feel the sting of vinegar vapor in your eyes. Enter the pickle factory. This trash smells like gherkins. Uh, don't pull it. Sweet pickles, garlic dill pickles, bread and butter pickles, cornichons, uh, half sour pickles, you don't even know what those are, dill pickles. Cuke shunts are only to be operated by qualified personnel only. You, got, you approach the ghost. Gotta, gotta can't sleep until night. Until it's right. You alright there, partner? Can't sleep, can't sleep, can't sleep, can't sleep. Yikes. Which is final the second one. I, I definitely like Blaziken the most. Fifteen, fifteen, now I should be able to do this one. Eleven, eleven, eleven. Oh, what was it? Nine hundred and... Oh, fuck, what was it? Nine hundred and... 976, was it? Alright there, partner. Salt, salt, salt. Gotta salt, 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 salt. Jeez, okay, salt, calm down. It was 976, right? I'll be honest, I don't like these mons. 976 yet? Okay, thank you. Why don't you like the mons? Approach the ghost. It's not right, it's not right. You okay right there, partner? All wrong, the temperature, it's not right, it's all wrong, not right at all. Okay, then do you all wrong. Ninety three degrees. What the fuck was the Was it ninety one ninety? Coal burns away and it heats the beginning by five degrees. One ninety, okay. Oh, creeper, creeper main, uh, creeper manic. Thank you so much for the prime sub. I greatly appreciate that. You now have access to eight different emotes, I think. I, I, I greatly appreciate that, man. Thanks, thanks for the sub. How's it going, creeper? I just want to say I'm Scott of Lyos, man. Ah, uh, okay. I greatly appreciate that, man.
creeper. Um, man. Should be good to go, I think. Pull it. Pull the lever and there is deafening sore as the old machinery springs into life. After a while, a load of pickles is deposited into the receptacle to the left of the switch. All that work for three pickles, no wonder this place went out of business. The ghost from the cucumber room drifts to the door, gives you a grateful look, and then clatters to the floor and is replaced with a pile of bones. A pile of bones of cucumbers. The ghost from the salt room drifts through the door and gives you a grateful look, then collapses into a pile of remains. Salt crusted skull. The ghost from the vinegar drifts through the door, gives you a grateful look, and vanishes into a puff of stones. Vinegar soaked bones. Storage leads into an empty room. Empty, dusty room, huh? You could have sworn there was a big tank full of pickle brine in there. My ghost. Oh, I guess they're all empty now. Let's go, fix. Parody, revenge is a parody. How's the, how often is the phrase creeper a uh, man used? Too many times, I think. I have often memory for some things. Don't mind the, the laser beam song and this new one I didn't know about. As you're riding along, you see some braided fuses stick it. Oh, it's the take down that one. It's not a pain, check on them. We able to get some broken leg spills without them. I'm just kind of just like, I'm still looking okay. Give her the pickle factory remains. What in the world? It's the Gherkin brothers. And please, I don't want to talk about it. It was really weird. I believe you. Here's the reward. These things are still twitching. Better lock them up just to be safe. Thanks, a bundle. What is this one? Oh, the black hand. Oh, the, the millinery. Just dragging my gooch across the floor. They're Gherkin Brothers, so... What's this game? This is this game is West of Loathing. It is a very funny, uh, um, just it's it's a it's a very lighthearted game with some really weird moments. That horse has a really small head. Sorry, I was distracted, but I've, I've been enjoying it. It's just a, it's a little bit of a light light fair, I think. Actually, I probably have XP to burn.
Final, have you ever played a rage game? No, and I do not plan on it. Though I guess you could consider Sonic Unleashed to be rage inducing. Uh, I wanted to go to the old millinery. You ever run into the worst smelling snake you've ever seen? It's basically a cartoon stink line come to life. Hold your nose and fight it. <laughs> it was the oil lamp. 51 hot damage. Nice. Good thing it wasn't as strong as it smelled. Snake spleen, snake liver. You elect not to keep the skin from this one. Good. <laughs> Foster Jack, thank you. And a hydrate, thank you. Yeah, don't don't mind at night was the one that had a creeper on, man. No. Yeah, it was it was the DJ Fall in Love again one. That was the parody. Uh, give me a quick second. I need to do something quickly. Buster check. It's revenge that has creeper. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. I need to figure something out. Ba 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 ba. -ba. Don't mine at night, lies. Mobs actually spawn less than mines at night. Uh, no. Spawn rate is the same. Also, my buddy, uh, Gumjaw is streaming right now. He hasn't str uh, stram and up streamed strum words in a, uh, a long while. Oh, never mind. He's not streaming right now. He was test streaming. All right, let's go get the hat bandits. It's because more mobs would spawn on the surface, I think. Technically speaking, it is less because of mob cap and the fact that they spawn more on the surface. Kinda? So ba basically what it is, the, the, the spawn rate's the same, but because it, it happens in a radius uh, based off the player location. Like if, if you're standing in, I don't know, block zero, zero, uh, uh, as, and like at the very bottom, a zombie at the very top level won't spawn because it's without, it's outside of the uh, spawn radius. Usually. You walk into the military and five bandits is lounging around in big piles of half-made hats. It's the law. Skedaddle. The bandits scatter like cockroaches, each shutting themselves behind a different door. Guess I'll have to wrangle them individually. Fine. Path of filthy floor. This patch of filthy floor wears lots of hats. <laughs> oh, Creeper, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I, I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. I. <laughs> and yes, unity is revenge. These crates are full to the top with brims. These hats like oops, these hats look like they're more comfortable to sit on than to wear. Uh, this apparently was, uh, this was apparently the demo model from a piano player showroom. It's only got three songs in it, and they're all children's versions of traditional songs that are in the recently invent invented public domain, and they're all set up to play just the first few seconds on a loop. 
The people who worked here must have hated it. What song do you want to send it out to? Uh, the Yellow Rose of Public Domain. My old public domain home. Public domain Joe. Don't change the dial. The <laughs> Briminal. That's, that's, that's very good alley. I like that. It's hard to win an argument with a smart person. It's even harder to argue win an argument with a stupid person. Yeah. So many brims, so little time. This is with the rising Jacuz. Oh. The bandit unceremoniously dumps you outside and walks back to the... into hat making dusting off their hands gesture like a cartoon. I know he's back. The band's all jump and scale back at the rooms. Say what you want. Say what you love about these guys. They never wore. They were never brimless. Oh, it's the, it's the differently colored hat, probably. This is a bandit that you caught. Don't forget to apologize to Ellie too, Uni. <laughs> I love that meme. You've been hit by, you've been struck by, truck. Ow! All these guys have identifying factors. Okie doke. Dense. You don't know much about hot making, but you know this doesn't make any sense. Shoddy hats, crappy chapeau. I saw this one move. Bad that I caught, okay. Given the quality of the one uh, give, given the quality of the one lighters around here, you don't need multiple. Nice. This back one has a shallower dip. All this over my name, by the way, I just want to say that. Don't you feel special? <laughs> I know Pandora has it because it played before, but now I want me to look idiotic than I normally am. Squatchies. These are parts for some kind of weird hat that you'd never wear. No. Oh. More brims. Brims, 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 even more brims. What's the difference on these ones? Anyway, anyway you know, you you keep mentioning Pandora, but who's Pandora? I gotta go take care. Thank you so much, Creeper Man, and I hope you have a good night. It's a music app? Uh, okay. What the hell is the difference on these ones? Such as Spotify, Shazam? Uh, okay, that makes sense.
My phone died, so now the other streamer's here. <laughs> nice. I'm not sure about this one. Add done? Okay, okay. I'm just gonna guess. The fuck? Bandit unceremoniously dumps you inside, unties their friends, their friends take an opportunity to get a couple of kicks on you before they go back. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to do that all over again. Oh, he's back. Dungeons and Dragons and Dragons, Dunners and Dives. I have that shirt. <laughs> Lag? Oh, wow. I don't know. Why is it dropping frames? Oh, is it because... Okay, give me a second here. I think I had something open that was causing shit. Let me just close some windows here just to be safe. Oh, it's, no, this was, this was the dent one. I was thinking this was the one with the sound. Uh, delay is still going on. I'll let you know when it's probably safe. Actually, hold on, I have an idea for this. All public domain. Some Javier, I'll have to go watch another ad. Okie doke. Um, actually, I will be right back. Uh, I gotta just get the washroom quickly. Thank you. 
Sorry, I'm back. Uh, and it looks like it, things have been refreshed, so or stopped lagging at least. So feel free to to refresh now. Uh, sorry about that. 
Also realized I didn't have my mic muted, so I apologize for that. Pastor Jack, thank you. Oh, come on, just pop my back, damn it. Sorry about that, guys. You changed the song of the piano. Is that whistling you hear? This is where they're hiding? Good riddance. This door is very locked. Requires lockpicking. Fuck. I sent that posture check because you just sat down. I appreciate that. You found all five of the bandits. Deal with them. Turn them in. You march the black hat bandits back to Dirtwater on the end of a mil on the end of a rope and lock them in the town jail. Where'd you find them? The old military? Yep. Of course. You know, bandits would be a lot harder if they find uh, if they didn't keep picking such thematic hideouts for some reason. Anyways, here's your reward. All in a day's work. Hey, good to see you. You know, you really cleaned up the area. I'm plumb out of bounties for you. Doesn't mean I get to be sheriff? No, but I guess you could be a marshal if you want. Oh, what a coincidence. That's my middle name. Thanks again for your help, marshal. No problem. Hell yeah. I'm fine, thanks. It's awesome that we managed to get everybody. Talk to your partner. See, so sniffs never was much for city living, too crowded and noisy. I imagine we'll be getting on the trail back soon enough. Uh, saddle up. Let's go to... Destroyed campsite. You can or a bandit who doesn't look very bandit-like due to the lab coat and side rule holster. Slide rule holster. Unfortunately, uh, she's also wearing the standard black bandit hat. Otherwise, you might have been... Might not have been able to tell. Alright, Buster, this is a stick-up. Hand over the meat. You don't seem to have a gun. There's another jail for you to do work later, I think. <clears throat> I kind of figured that there'll be another town. Uh, you don't seem to have a gun. How about if I just punch you out and leave instead? I'd like to see you try, because I've invented an anti-punching ring and like, would, like, would help me test it. Because I want a ring. An anti-punching ring? How interesting. May I have a look? Are you using a positive matrix force field? Positive matrix? No, it's a sigma field de uh, derived. Sigma? Oh no, that won't do at all. Oh no, that won't do at all. I mean, it'll soak some kinetic force, sure, but as soon as that thing gets heavy, it's gonna overheat and burn your finger off. Oh geez, really? I hadn't thought of that. Back to the drawing board, I guess. She tosses you the ring and turns to leave. Got it a ring of moderate, un moderate unpunchability. Okay. This knapsack seems to be taking a lot of abuse recently. Search it. Uh, most of the contents are trash from being stomped on. You do find a dented can of potted meat, though. You also notice that the knapsack has a side, has a knife sheath strapped to the side, but you don't see the knife anywhere. That's just a real mess. It looks like it was trampled over by a herd of cows. There's something odd about it, though. Campfire has been rough, thoroughly stomped on and kicked. Someone was real serious about fire safety. Oh, thank you for the, the hydrate. There it is. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, because you think maybe this used to be a person? Investigate. What a mess. Cows did this to a guy? I reckon so, judging from these tracks. But, hmm. What's wrong? Something about these tracks ain't quite right. What do you mean? They aren't spaced out right, and they're uneven. Okay, what does that mean? 
I'd say either the cow that made these trucks was drunk or it wasn't a cow that made them. There are cow trucks leading away from the mangled corpse. It probably wouldn't be hard to follow them. Since you have the reason to believe these trucks may be fake, you could either follow them or head in their opposite direction. Follow the tracks. Follow the cow track for a hundred yards or so, afterwards they, they stop suddenly. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest nearby. Well darn. Follow the tracks, go the opposite way. You head in the... You head in the opposite direction for about half a mile discover another campsite. This one is occupied. You observe the campers carefully from a distance before approaching. They're, dre they're dressed weirdly in brightly colored baggy clothes and white face paint. As they get closer, you realize they're dressed up as rodeo clowns. Gross. Why would they do that? There doesn't seem to be a rodeo happening anywhere near there, here. Approach the camp. What do you have to say about this? Ain't been to a real rodeo in these parts for a high on 20 years. What are these fools doing dressed like that? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> this rodeo clown is playing the harmonica. The tune he's playing basically goes do 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 oot do do do. Say hello. He nods politely but keeps playing. This rodeo clown is eating a comically large haunch of meat. He narrows his eyes at you as if to say mine. This clown is idly juggling a knife. Howdy, stranger, he says with a smile. Howdy, stranger, or howdy. What are you guys doing out here? Clown exchange glatches. Camping? You can tell by the campfire. What I mean is... What I mean is there's no rodeo or circus around here, so why are you guys in rodeo clown outfits? Oh, that? Our circus is up north. We're on break, so we decided to take it to sights. What circus? I didn't hear anything but a circus in the area. Oh, you wouldn't have. We're just a little traveling show. You aren't missing anything. What's it called, though? The clown hesitates, then shrugs. It's called Barnaby Bob's Perfectly Normal Traveling Circus Sideshow. Perfectly normal? Why is it called that? Accuracy. <laughs> how far north is it? Oh, pretty far. Too far for you to worry about. No, really, how far? It's up near Goblin Gulch. Wow, that is really far. Right, exactly too far... <laughs> it's thinking time. Uh, you walked all the way from here? You guys walked all the way down here from the north, northernmost part of the territory for sightseeing. You're on your break. We get really long breaks. We have a good union. Look, I'm not stupid. Look, I may have li literally fallen off a turnip truck recently, but that doesn't mean I'm stupid. What are you guys doing here, really? The harmonica player stops playing and the clown's eyes grow very cold. His friendly grin turns into a snarl. We're traveling tutors given lessons and minding your own friggin' business. Would you like a free sample? Bring it, you pasty face goons. <laughs> oh, this is fucked. Let's class Blizzard. <laughs> Fuck. You kind of walked into this? Yeah, I kind of figured. I, I actually did literally just walk into this. Slowly regain consciousness and discover that while you're still alive. Barely. The clowns, tie, the clowns tied you spread eagle to the stakes and left you to die in the hot summer sun. But unfortunately, those, the stakes were not very long or high, and you wiggle loose pretty quickly. By the time you make it back to their campsite, though, they've long since vacated the premises. Great, if cows weren't bad enough, now there's a pack of demonic clowns running loose. You get so angry about losing that fight that you pass out. Fuck. Day three, you get the idea. Uh, let's eat something. What was the one? 
Mysticality. Elegant Doggin. Comb his mane. He makes sort of a glurk noise. It's found an astonishingly large horse apple in the distance. You're really astonished by the size of it. It is very large. Sure, let's go there now. As you reach the center of the clearing, you are simultaneously struck with a profound awe and a terrible stench as you discover the largest road apple you've ever seen. You can't even imagine how it got there. Was it a giant horse? Was it 200 normal sized horses acting collaboratively? They should have sent a poet. Yeah, they should have. I love how it's called the Big Apple. Doesn't smell any better up close. Clean it up. You made a little dent in it. Keep digging. It's smaller than it was before. Clean it up. It's almost gone now. Hooray! Talk. You're just doing this for your health because I reckon we can find a more entertaining option. Rescue mission. Rustling sound of the bushes draws your attention and you decide to defense and investigate. Because that's what adventurers do, no matter how bad of an idea it probably turned out to be. The rustling turns out to be a goblin. A goblin wearing ugh, makeup and practically covering their practicing their cartwheels. And mostly failing. Eventually they give up on tumbling on tumbling practice and start repeatedly throwing a shiny metal ball in the air and catching it. Talk to it. Oh, that is fucking horrifying to look at. Wow, uh, hello? Hello, hi. What are you What are you two doing? I'm learning... I am to learning a juggle. It tosses a single ball up in the air again, but distracted conversation reaches the catch. Okay, but why? Was there any point to this? I have no idea. I think it was just XP. A clown becoming. Joining the circus, far away to traveling. Far, far to traveling, and then to popping. Popping? No, never mind. Damn it, I wish I had one more off, Foxen. If a goblin that is, is also a clown is absolutely the last thing you want to deal with right now, I totally respect that decision. Yeah. A little cluster of gin blossoms. Blossom gin. Just right here, I don't prefer, feel particularly churchy these days. I ask myself that too many times in RPGs, usually there is no point to it. Yeah, but it's fun all the same. There's a haphazard stack of pews in the corner. Oh. Gosh, a real life nun. Er, yes, I'm Sister Tabitha. I'm Final Fire. What's with the cots? Well, what with the cows attacks and so on, I felt my faith would be better served by running this place into a clinic rather than just a church. Also sell medical supplies if you like your healing to go. Do you need any errands or anything? Why you should ask, I've been experimenting with the healing properties of purple grass that grows near here. But I've run out. Would you mind picking some for me? It grows near a cave that makes an unusual humming sound. Oh, I, th I think I know what the place you mean. Not yet, sorry. That's disappointing, but I trust you keep your promise. Broken leg pills. Let's go, Sphix. With a shout, while more of a loud hiss, the skeleton leaps at you from the underbrush. He's wearing a cavalry hat that has a cavalry saber, but isn't riding a cavalry horse. Which is, which I'm pretty sure is the main thing that differentiates cavalry from infantry, but that's the only thing. 
Let's fit the skeleton. <laughs> it's now a candle. You end this rivalry by caving in your opponent's skull. Old cavalry hat. When you're searching for treasure but excellently travel too far into the right direction and progress the story. I hate that. Purple grass. I would have been in here. There's a crate laying on the dusted trail. It's a pickaxe stencil on the side, but it doesn't clear to indicate contents, destination, or opening instructions. Open it up with a crowbar. Bread loaf the crate with a crowbar, that's one of the possibilities eliminated. Spiked coffee, smiling salts, a blood building tonic, bottle of laudanum, surgical gin. We're able to find the humming cave in the purple grass. Here you go. Thank you very much. Blessings upon you. I don't want anything. Hope it has been ba pushed back against the wall. Okay. So I guess I'm done here. You're gonna go to the area the mechanical triangle showed you. Yes. Somewhere. Where was it? Professor's oh professor's house. A nearby cloud of dust turns to be a bandit on a horse, riding hell for leather for unknown reasons. Well, I know them, but you don't. Pull your horse up alongside hers and match her speed. What's up? Was it, or does the fire get bent and or lost? Wonder about riding too fast. Uh, you should be careful. There's a lot of uh, geomedia activity around here. What? Uh, <laughs> the rest of her sentence is cut off as her horse trips over a gopher hole and goes down in a snarling, a snarl of flailing limbs and dust. You catch her meat pouch out of the air as miscellaneous loose positions fly out of the tumbling cloud. Them's the brakes. 32 meat and 10 XP. Nice. Beeping machine leads you to a ramshackle house in the middle of the desert. Hmm. Talk. This is a weird little hall house. You sure this is <clears throat> you sure this is where the gizmo said to go? Maybe it's weird inside. Harvest the f hot coffee cactus. Professor's troll isn't very good repair. Flush it. You gain one XP. Hell yeah. This appears to be an extremely powerful magnifying mirror, basically an inside out microscope. Check yourself. The microscopic mites that live in your eyelashes seem to be getting along just fine. These books are so boring it's a wonder that the shelf isn't full of holes. A map annotated with circles and lines. This device doesn't seem to be operational, unless its function is to do nothing. Oh, the dresser contains 10 instances of this exact same shirts and 20 identical socks. Doesn't look like this guy sleeps very much. Flush a toilet and delta room for a tramp. It's out? Yep. These books are all about concepts too advanced for you to even recognize. What do you think of this guy, Susie? Looks like some, some kind of egghead. Might as well introduce ourselves, though. Guess so. Excuse me, my name's Final Fire. What? Oh, I didn't know you used to come in. I'm not used to visitors, but folks generally call me the professor. This is something I can do for you. Well, I found this beep, bleeping gizmo, and I saw it follow the bleeping, and it led me here. Well, I'll be. It certainly led you to the right place, young man. This is El Vibrato technology. And I happen to be much an expert in this as anyone alive today. El what now? El Vibrato. They were, the, they were an ancient race that lang lived here long before humans. Well, they lived mostly underground, so they might still be living as far as I know. Never seen a peep of an actual person, though. Just the machines they left behind. <sighs> Sorry. Were they space aliens? Could be aliens or gen uh, genies pre-humans or an entirely different uh, terrestrial evolutionary line. At the stage of the investigation, it's possible to say. It's an exciting. Here, let me have a closer at your bleeping gizmo. Aha, uh -huh, just as I expected. 
This is one of their transponders. It detects other El Vibrato technology and homes in you see. That's why it led you here. I've got a thing lying I've been trying to repair. Tinkers around with the transponder for a bit and then plugs a strange stone and marble into a socket on it. There you go. Good as new. Just wipe up, swipe up or down to turn it off. Swipe. Now I've got to warn you. This device will lead you to an abandoned El Vibrato technology. But it also might attract unwanted attention. From what? From the El Vibrato technology. You'll see what I mean. Just be careful. Okay. The As anyone alive today contradicts the expert saying, since I don't think anyone knows about El Vibrato technology. I guess it makes sense. You know, now that I think about it, you've arrived at a perfect time. In order to get anywhere further with my research, I more, need more samples of uh, El Vibrato tech. But searching up for it, searching for it eats up all the time I could use to research it. Aha, uh -huh, I getcha. Right, you're the adventuresome type, so bring me back whatever devices you'll find. And if I get them up and running, that'll benefit both of us. Alright, deal. Great. First priority seems to be to... First priority will to get my keystone fabricator running. They lock their doors and things with the, all these little stone alloy blocks you see. So if we can make our own, that'll open up a lot of doors for us, fig literally and figuratively. Alright, what do you need? The components aren't rare, at least as far as priceless ancient technology goes. Bring me, oh, five handfuls of scrap. I should be able to salvage the last parts I need from that much. Roger that. Uh, spooky action at distance. You don't trust it. No. Uh, I'm not sure what to do, so let's just go to Lazy A Dude Ranch. Reach for the sky, clown. You quickly turn around to see a grizzled looking man in all black clothes, except for a hat, which is white with brightly colored spots. He's pointing a gun at you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No way, no way in hell am I a clown. You need to get your eyes checked, bud. The man strides up to you, uncomfortably close and inspects your face. It seems I'm mistaken. I'll be on your way. Hold on a second. Your hat. Is that a clown skin hat? Oh, no. You know about the clowns? You know about the truth? I wish I didn't. The knowledge may protect you. Walk safe, traveler. I really need to get the off fox in three. Burn my palm picking up an ember from the ground because I didn't think it would be hot. That was fun. Why did you want an ember? Should have leveled up before I left. Fuck off. Something been washing ferrets in this thing. Yuck. Wannabes? Farm posers? Yeah, they're the worst. Nice shirts, though. Oh, burn craze. Guess it came with the property. Kick it open. Stuff inside isn't burnt. That's a pretty good crate. Ranch punch and lasso. Hey, like, howdy. I'm selling herbal remedies. Care to buy? What kind of herbal remedies? The kind that are gifted us by a guy without any interference by human hands. So weeds? That's a derogatory term created by the man, but yeah, basically. Sure. It was a while ago when that happened, it was a smoldering piece of wood. That doesn't answer my question. Why, why did you want one? Hey, yeah, howdy, man. What's happening? That's what I was wondering. Oh, not much, man. We moved on to this little patch of land to grow crops, but then we decided to... It's more natural just like Gaia grow whatever she wants, right? I bet it's a lot easier, too. Haha, <laughs> right on, man. Neat. Where did you get that hat? Oh, this? A friend of mine made it, man. Um, I forget which one. What will, we, what, will we, what will you take for it? I've been kind of thinking of a new style, man. Maybe one of those hats the army guys used to wear back in the day. They're kind of an ironic statement, man. There's an old fort over yonder that way. I'll stop if you can find one of those. Sure. Howdy, I'm final. I'm Luis. Luis Thalram. 
Why the long face, Louise? Oh, jeez, basically I'm stuck here farming with a couple of dummies who don't know how to farm a dang thing. So they just let the weeds grow and call it natural. I'm so sick of eating dandelions, I could scream. Why don't you leave? I haven't got any meat or any other prospects or anywhere to go. I mean, dandelions are terrible, but they're a lot better than eating dirt. This is such a mess. How did you get in this predicament? Oh, I really should be ending soon. I was headed west after baking after graduating baking school and fell in love with those two. I fell in love with these two because they talked a big game about natural gains, grains. Full that I was, I didn't realize they were really interested in getting silly on local weed and not doing any work. So you're looking for work? Gosh, yes, desperately. The only trade I know is baking, though. Do you know somewhere that's hiring a baker? Heck, even unpaid would be better than this if it comes with room and board. I just want to get out of here. I don't, sorry. Shucks, well, if you hear anything, please let me know. Will do. Huge supply of unused fertilizer. Local weed. Northern Clown Wart. Pardon me. Oh, I'm disconnected. Am I back? Fuck. I wonder what the happened there. Is everything okay now? There's no force in the universe I can get this top off this crate. These crates are just decorative. This crash hand smells terrible. Dig through it. No way not without some stench resistance. Oh, hello, Sphix. At a boatload of sushi, my dad tried to bully me into eating more. Nice. I, oh, and there was a hydrate there. Thank you for the hydrate. Don't know the requirements, but I think you need to beat the boss in the bread factory that mentioned... The general mentioned to hire the lady in the farm. Okay. Also, I haven't seen a bread factory yet, so... Somebody left their knapsack behind. A note? Yes is no. Cryptic note about late lines. From one of the necromancers to one of his cultist flunkies. There's also an evil leather band looking one. Introductory next max. Uh, black book, black covered book written in black ink on black paper is a primer on the arts of southern southwestern necromancy. Otherwise known as Nexmex. It gives you the grinning skull skill. Last thing is a little diary which you decide to leave in there in case the owner comes back looking for it. Read. There are eight Nexmex books. Okie dokie. I'll say that the phrase Sphix would also snort hot sauce if paid enough money. I'm in no way a proper standard. <laughs> I, I don't think I could ever snort hot sauce. 
It seems to have been written by one of the necromancer's cultists. He and several others were reanimating the dead soldiers here on the theory that, a, that the best undead army would be a literal undead army. The hitch in the plan came when they raised the officers who decided they weren't going to take orders from a bunch of weirdo civilians. The last entry also su suggests that the author and his cohorts were planning on abandoning their station and reporting back to the necromancer. But the entry ends abruptly in the middle of a sentence. Fascinating. Seems like it'd be pretty dangerous. Are you sure you want to read it? Yes. Why am I getting the... Is Next Max okay to read? Oh, I would have paid enough money. <laughs> Drink the gin while somebody shaves your entire body. Now you're fully prepared. Okay. Next mix is beneficial. Okie dokie. You cannot see the words on the pages, but you can nevertheless read them. Your mind becomes strained with grim secrets. Grin and skull. Skulls are scary and ghosts are scary, but anyone that would be double scary? Yes, you do. As you turn over the last page, the, bo the book benefit, but the book vanishes in a puff of black smoke. The mass grave is absolutely teeming with those uh, skeletal riflemen. They don't seem to be interested in getting out, but you could definitely jump in there if you were itching for a fight. There's one wandering in the end of the pit nearest you. I'll walk away for now. Actually, I should probably fight it. Just see if I can... Let me feel trauma kit. Okay. You can't get all of them in this run, unfortunately. You need Pale Horse to get 7 and 8. Oh, okay. Also, has your Damon final? It's been going well. I, I'm I'm almost done making Sarah or I finished making Sarah and I just had to finish canning it. Strategy. Try to map the region. The table has a little model of the region on it. Flush this one. Two, three, handles, flush handles missing. Four. Barracks. The lock in this footlocker has rusted away to nothing. Sauerkraut pug, yeah. My house, my house smells like uh, fermented cabbage and wine. Because I, I, people just say, oh yeah, just do salt and cabbage. But I always find that it doesn't add enough flavor. So I boil it in a little bit of wine. Or actually this time I boil it in an entire bottle of wine. And uh, mustard seeds. Uh, silver bullet and smelling salts. Pick luck. The only, this one only contains important military air. Final what the fuck? No, it's it. I actually it's it's. I know I said it. It may seem like another, uh, like a, like a lot for an entire bottle of wine, but keep in mind it was like 750 milliliters and like compared to like two cabbages worth of sauerkraut, which is a fucking lot by the way. Because I'm I it's gonna be making uh, about 12 jars of it. Because I, I also, like, I know how to do canning and whatnot. Like, glass jars with, like, the little rubber seal lids and whatnot. You want another recipe to make? I can make, give you a fried rice recipe. I'm always down for recipes. Sauce that in the Art and Food channel on Discord, man. The shelves are filled with the Skeleton Army's food supply. Examine it. 
You pick up a box at random and read the label. Crushed vulture feathers. Oiled dirt. Pressed mold. Pickled vulture feathers. Old fish eyes. Lie treated skunk kidneys. Lie treated glands. Oiled spiders. Lie treated blood. Cured bat wings. Candy chalk. Sugar fish eyes. Stew chalk al mode. That's all fucking repulsive. When I get the chance of death, I will. Okie doke. If you guys ever want to, like, get recipes from me, just say, like, uh, like, I'll, I'll, I can definitely just give you something good. I know it's a bit uh, cryptic, but I don't know a better way to explain it. Attack. Oh, I might be dead here. Yep. Like your mother always told you, don't jump into a pit filled with skeletal riflemen if you're not pretty sure what it, how, if you can do it without getting your ass handed to you. It's weird how often she said that. <laughs> Also, as a heads up, I don't know, I'm hoping I can be able to stream tomorrow, but I'm going to be hanging out with my dad. Uh, we're going to go to a little store called Costco up here, which is like this giant warehouse with really cheap prices, so. Welcome player wants to try doing the hard mode in this game. He couldn't even get past the first cow encounter. Nice. No. Me too. Was there nothing there? A loud thwack. Noise draws your attention, and you follow the sound to a man in a once white apron who is butchering a big horned sheep or some other large desert animal with an oversized and heavy looking meat cleaver. As he's hauling the implement up onto his shoulder for another blow, he catches sight of you and hisses with a wild look in his eyes. Who's there? Don't test me, boy. I'll chop you up like this goat or whatever it is. Give him some pointers. Help him out with his cleaving technique. Easy there. You're a butcher, right? Do you know chef magic? Oh, you're a beanslinger? I know a couple of little things. I never started it for real. Am I able to teach you a little telekinesis? That should help you handle that cleaver more easily. It raises awareness telekinetically. Enjoy your family time. No worries, man. I mean, I don't think it'll be all day. But as if it's a heads up in case of... Spend some time teaching the butcher how to manipulate objects of his mind. At least well enough to make his cleaver seem a little lighter and less unwieldy. He gives you some of his animal carcasses payment. Am I supposed to do something to get the hat? Here's a question to all you telepaths and mind readers. Uh, 374,262. Sure, let's do it one more time, see what happens.
mean? How often does Final forget he has healing items? I do it far too often. I haven't I haven't used one yet. Brush yourself off, collect your loot, and climb back out of the pit. Oh, fuck. It's the harder way. 36, 36, 47, 36. I think this is another grinding area. Yeah, but I wanted to try to get the hat. Oh, there's bullets or loop. Using dynamite doesn't take up a turn. Oh, that's useful. Thank you for letting me know about that. None of the items on the bottom use AP. Okie doke. Is there a way to get AP back? Without using an item? Brushes off to click. There you go. Old patrol cap. That's what I was looking for. Binge. Alright, as soon as we get back to this and... Oh. As soon as we get back to the... This, give the guy's hat and see what happens. Uh, we'll... I'll call it quits for the day and raid somebody. Find a liquor cabinet standing in the woods. Maybe there used to be a house around it. You try opening it, but to find it to be locked. That's probably why it didn't get stolen with by whoever stole the walls. Too bad I couldn't get it. I don't know this old Harmony Mets man. Yes. Barter is like commerce man, except natural. Can you dig it? Strange head sack. Damn it. I thought it would, I thought it would give me extra magic stuff. I need a better magic hat. Um I guess hmm.
Right there, I, I leveled up health and uh, uh, AP. Only with certain spells or items. Okie doke. I appreciate that. Anyways, uh, should we able to just main mini this, right? Yes. Alright. Let's figure out who to raid. I kind of want to raid a smaller person to kind of help him out. Man, I am sad I missed most of Beans. No worries. I'm, I'll, 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 I'll do, be doing more. You, and also, there's there's also the VODs channel. Oh, and thank you for dropping the uh, Discord and YouTube. If anybody wants to join the communities or watch the VOD, uh, I'll be posting uh, another VOD dump soon. Alright, so we have three options here. We have V Turnip, Schematics, and Iris Agate. Oh, and Solier. Uh, Turnip is streaming Smash Ultimate. Schematics is. Final, my flaming friend is being put out now, and you will see in the next stream. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, Schematics is streaming Minecraft. Iris Agate is streaming uh, Taiko no Tatsujin, which I think is a drumming game. Must go say hi to Birdman. Okie doke. I guess it's. I guess the thing is a skip then. Uh, hold on. What is? What did the stream title say? Actually, you know what? Yeah, I think I think he'd like the bean. So let's go. There you go. Because he he said he said it was a secret Minecraft stream. So the secret's out, prepare to be beanged. <laughs> Ember's food, I guess. Anyways, I hope everybody has a good uh, rest of the night. And I, I enjoyed playing this, and I, I'm glad everybody kind of enjoys the, the stupidity of it. Positive track, thank you. I like rainbow pudding. I've never had rainbow pudding. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to call it quits here, and uh, everyone take care.